Namo Buddhaya. One of our viewers have asked from us a question that how can I practice letting go in my life? How can I practice the ability of letting go in my life? So this special video is dedicated for him as well as for all of you have the same question within yourself. First of all, we need to realize a real reality in our life to have this ability in our lives. And that is, the whole world is out of our control. First of all, you need to realize that. The, the whole world that you live in this, around you, is out of your control. People, situations, experiences, and other people's opinions, the things, all the things are out of your control. Remember that. Is that true? Yes. Now, when you take people, can you control people according to all the wishes that you have? No. Can you control the situations that you face in the future? No, you don't know about that. Right? Can you control the experiences that you face in the future? You cannot do that. And also, can you control the things around you according to your wish? No, you cannot control that for 100%. Right? So, first of all, you need to realize the, this real truth. The whole world is out of our control. But there is something that is within our control. What is that? That is our reaction towards them, our respond towards those experience. Right? So that is what in your control. Right? So normally, it is very hard to let go of the things or the people from our lives because there is a nature of our mind that it has the clinging effect our mind likes to grasp the things and the people and the, uh, the experience that we see. That is what we call the upadana. Supreme Buddha said, Yankinchi dukkhang sambhoti sabbang upadana pachya. If there is any suffering which arises in our life, that is because of the clinging of our mind towards them, right? Now, it is very hard to let go of the anger, right? It is very hard to let go of the sadness, right? Now, people would like to let go of the hard situations in, in their life, right? But our mind is not ready for that. There's a special effect that it always wanders in those difficult situations, sad situations, in anger and evil thoughts. But it is very hard to let go of those things. But remember, all the things that we experience in this world, all the people that we meet in this world, right? All the things that we have in this world, one day we have to let go of these things. Even though we cannot let go of the things today, one day, at the end of our life, we have to say goodbye to all these things, right? But there is something that we take from this life. What is that? The things that we did according to those stimulations, our reactions towards those experiences, our reactions do towards those people. So, if we collect that karma, right, that is the only thing that we can take from this life. That is the thing that only we own in this life. So, we have to remember, first of all, that the world is out of our control, right? Things may fade away from our life, People may fade away from our life. 
and also if you are going through a hard situation difficult situations remember it will also fade away from your life because everything in this world is impermanent nothing is there is permanent right nothing is permanent not even your problems and also remember not even your sweet memories sweet times beautiful times everything is impermanent so when the things are fading away from our life right when the people are walking away from our life do not hold on to them the problem we suffer is that we are holding on to those things right the more we hold on to things the more we will suffer right the more we hold on to the things the more we will suffer right? it is like you are keeping a red hot iron ball on your palm right the more you hold on to that iron ball that red hot iron ball remember you are the one who is getting hurt you are the one who is suffering but if you let go of that you are not suffering anymore so what you have to do is realize the reality of impermanence every person everything every experience every situation is impermanent so when those things are being impermanent you can be happy by seeing the reality because you have expected that thing in your life because you know that these things are impermanent in my life right when the things are fading away just don't hold on to them let them fade away let them go away right don't hold on the more you hold on the more you will suffer so that is how we let go of the things in our life right if you let go of the things when the things are walking away from our life you can be happy right you can be positive always and you can maintain your inner peace within you so don't hold on to things don't hold on to anger don't hold on to people because everything is impermanent in this world namo buddhaya